as we take a look at the tail of the tape for this bout in the heavyweight division of the World Series of Fighting, an 11 year age difference between Huckaba and Maimon. 6 2 to 6 4 advantage Maimon. There you see the weight advantage to Huckaba. And there is the reach advantage for Maimon. Even when Huckaba comes in to circle the cage, Maimon thinking he's cutting into his territory. This one is going to be on, folks. We sit it inside to Jasakuro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three rounds. Here come the World Series of Fighting Heavyweights. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. His record, 17 wins, five defeats, 11 of the wins coming by way of knockout, two by submission. He is currently on a five fight win streak. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. He fights out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Introducing Derek Caveman. And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His record, impressive, 21 victories, five defeats, 17 by knockout, three by submission. He has won 11 of his last 12 fights. He stands six feet, two inches tall. He weighs 259.8 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting Dave Your referee is Steve Mazzagatti. I've been looking forward right, to this ready, one. Be ready, gentlemen, yes, be sir. ready. This one lies on the shoulders of Steve Mazzagatti. You've got over 500 pounds of angry men <laughs> yeah. ready to go at it here inside the World Series of Fighting 10. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Now bring it on, come on. Well, all the talking's done, all the tweeting's done, all the other disrespecting if you have is done. It's now time to put up or shut up. <laughs> oh, fake take down with left hook to the head. Very smart. He goes, whatever. This I is, felt that. Boss, this, that is, this is young bull, old bull situation. And you get the sense that Dave Huckabout wants to shut down the young bull. Yeah, young, no, uh, old angry bull. Yeah, and young but bull. I'll tell you what, Derek Maiman is, he's a big lad. Well, 17 knockouts uh, say it all. Uh, oh, sorry, 11 knockouts. And Maiman remembers 2-0 in the World Series of Fighting with KO World Series of Fight 5 with Rose Gracie and then at 8 with Oof. Scott Barrett. That was a good low kick. He didn't set it up, but it was perfect. It was hard. Get to know Derek Mayman. All you need to know is this young man wrestled at the University of Iowa. Uh, that's pretty big stuff. That's pretty big stuff. That means that any moment he can shoot. And he's never been knocked out, something that Dave Huckabo would like to end. Huckabo with some good footwork there, just getting out of the way. I love that. Boss, you know we never pick favorites, but I know both of you are looking at this undercard, and with the recent transpirations of Twitter, this is the one fight on the undercard we were both kind of looking forward to seeing how it would play out here in the cage. You know, two big guys with no gun power in his hands, you know this fight's not gonna go the distance. Right now, big trouble here for Huckaba. Maimon, when he starts throwing knees to the body, that's a scary thing. Naaman with World Series of Fighting Fighter Steve Carl in his corner. Just one big knee to the midsection there. Big right knee yes, to the belly. Interesting approach there. Rather than taking the knees and the side control, he puts a knee to the chest of Huckaba and now slides over the top. Does he go for the full mount here? No, he wants he's, what likes to sit in half guard. I assume because he let Huckabuck get it. Uh, more fighters like that. More wrestlers do that as well. Sitting in half guard and throw power strikes from there. Have a little bit more control. Dave Huckabuck doing a great job of staying controlled, staying calm here. This is a tough situation. You get a 245 pound man on top of you trying to rearrange your face and Huckabuck trying to keep his wits about it. And a 245 pound guy with power. Yes, sir. So it's Derek Maiman in the black trunks in control right now, going to work on Dave Huckaba. Steve Mazzagatti right there watching the action. 
blending into the post. We can't see that. Yes, he is. <laughs> Now he's, oh, I thought he's going to try to go to a full mount maybe. Look at the marks on Maiman's yeah. legs from the low kicks. There you can see what 265 pounds does. If two, and there was only two kicks. Yeah, wow. just two. But it's a tough situation for Dave Huckabee right now. He's got to look for some kind of opening, mount some kind of offense, and get Maiman out of this situation because otherwise he's looking at another 80 seconds of punishment here until the round ends if he can withstand it. I would see if I could get him in the guard. Full guard. And then pull him on you. Bear hug him, pull him on you. So you close the distance. He can't really load up anymore. Take the power away. Because this is not good. Any moment, Raymond right. can push himself upwards, create a little bit more space, like he's doing right now. He's going to pass. Side control now. He's probably going to go to Mount. See the corner of Huckaba calling for him to turn into Maiman. You agree with that, boss? Yeah, well, that's what he needs to do, but he needs to get him in the full guard. Not just half. There's not a lot of control you have now. Maiman looked up at the time. He knows he needs to work if he wants to finish this in the first round. Hakaba still trying to stay active as Steve Mazagadi, our referee, looks on. Derek Maiman in control in the last two minutes. Side choke, side choke, he's setting it up. Nope. And it's also very hard to pull off in your half guard. Then again, Maiman's got some serious power. Some people can pull it up. Look at this. So uh, how do you do, do Derek Maiman? He went right at yeah, Dave Huckaba as we listen into the corner hey, sir, of Derek Maiman. There's Steve Carl working in his corner. We'll listen in. Hey, you're fine. You, I know what you're doing. You're waiting for him to get tired. Okay? Hey, hey, get him back in the goddamn guard. Don't sit there. I know he can't hurt you, but don't sit there. He's staying busy. Finish him this round, all right? You got it, bro. How you feel? Good. Good? Hey, you're getting, you're getting married in two days, by the way. Excellent round, bro. Excellent. Your face is still pretty, too. You're I like getting it. married in two days, by the way. Steve Carl trying to keep it a little loose in there. How you feeling? You get married in a couple days? Come on. That's like when the manager goes out to the pitcher's mound and says, hey, what are we going to dinner afterwards? Is he going to get married in Vegas with an Elvis? You never know. You never know. Bird. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, second round, guys. All right, bring it on. Come on. So here we go, round number two. Dave Huckabee's conversation is his corner was brief. You know, they were saying probably keep this thing on your feet. Maiman, remember, 29 years of age to Huckabee's 40 years of age. But we know with Dave Huckabee, all it takes is, is one big right, and uh, this thing's over. That's it. You know, you always have to watch out. He's got a lot of power in his hands. Both these guys have. But Maiman has that wrestling also. So what he can do, he can fake takedowns like he did right away in the beginning of round number one and come up the top with a left hook. That was what Kevin Randleman did against Merkel Krokop. Knocked him out like that. Yep. Straight left there from Dave Huckaba. There again, see, he looks like he, he acts like he's going for a takedown and comes on top with the strikes. Very smart. Get inside the head of your opponent. Make him guess the whole time. What is it? What is it? He knows he cannot be taken down because he's going to lose another round. Are you surprised that Maiman's not trying to get this fight back to the ground, seeing the success he had in round number one? I, I think it's an ego thing. I, I, I think he wants to show to people that, well, okay, I know you're a big power striker, but I can strike too. There you go. You know? And it's great for us. He's one muscle. If you look at his core, it's like, oh, everything is a muscle with him. Big legs. Akaba needs to throw combos. One, two, a rat attack. You know? So saw single power shots. Oh, look at oh, that yeah. again. You see, and he lowered himself. Maybe. Uh oh, oh. Caught him just a little bit. Was a slipper yep. a catch? We'll have to look at that. Now the combos come from Maiman. 
Hakaba is a tough customer to finish, but oh. Heyman's trying to do his very best here in round two. As we go under three minutes to go, this one's scheduled for three. Mixing it up, throwing a kick in there. Getting Another confirmation one. from the folks in the truck that it was a miss and a slip by Hakaba. So he was not dazed in that situation. Well, simultaneously, I thought a little tap there also. But hey. I never disagree with the guys in the truck. You know. No, 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 because they get slow motion and everything. Oh, nice see. straight right from Hakaba. These are the heavyweights, the World Series of Fighting. This is WSOF 10 from Las Vegas, Nevada. Dave Huckabee in the white trunks, Derek Maiman in the black trunks. Two men have made it known they do not care for one another. The uh, social Twitter war leading up to this and bout. There we go. And here we go as Maiman is showing him a little bit of everything. First round dominated by Maiman, pretty much a ground war. And Huckabee more than happy to stay up top and trade big punches with him. You know, but everything is single shots. Hakaba needs to throw combos. He's very powerful. His jab is a straight punch. So everything is hard, and I understand that. But you know, sometimes it's just better. Well, it does sometimes. It's always better to throw combos. Three power strikes is also, it's always better than one power strike. So oh. not having that oh. in your repertoire where you don't he throw did. a combo, or you just don't feel comfortable defensively to throw two punches. Oh, he's down. Him. Yeah, he had him on left hook already. Maiman has caught Huckaba, and now he goes to work. He needs to pass. Push his hips forward, pass the legs to the side. Steve Carl in the corner of Derek Maiman, imploring him to step through. Cut on the right brow of Derek Maiman. It was Dave Huckaba, though, that was dropped to the canvas. Side choke again. And now trying to hold on for the last 110 of round two. Looks like he wants to go for that side choke. And because he's in half guard, his opponent thinks that he cannot have it, but then I, I guarantee you he pulls his leg out and jumps to the side once he has it locked in. So side, side control point. now for Maiman with 50 seconds to go. Can Huckaba hold on and see a third and final round? Well, we know he's tough. He's gonna lug that arm up now. Nope, nice job there from Huckaba right away pulling it out. We don't know if that's crucifix uh, situation now. That's a bad situation to be in. Yeah, we saw this earlier in the ender card with a fighter getting both arms pinned down, no way to defend themselves. And now it's down to the final 22 seconds with Steve Mazagata circling the action, Go looking for, for Dave Hockaba to defend himself. Flexes up there and slows the attack of Maiman momentarily. Has he done enough as we go under 10 seconds here in round two? Well, we can safely say the first two rounds are totally going wow. to Maiman. Sit down. Boss, I have not seen two big men move that fast in a long time. And once again, it's Maiman who brings forward the heat and the knockdown of Huckaba. Watch it one more time. Boom. Yep. On the hammer fist, too. Look at this. He catches one, two, three. Half of those making their way to the chin and face of Dave Huckaba. Wow. Well, that's a power. In World Series, all right? Hey, show him why you're a main eventer. Finish this dude. Don't, don't throw single punches. Throw combos. Go. Yeah. Throw combos. Let's go, buddy. Get all over him. Hey, this is the last round. This is the last round. Get after it. So we make it to the third and final round here in the heavyweight division on the undercard here at World Series of Fighting 10. Derek right, Maiman right. and Dave Huckaba have reached the third and final. They're going to settle this one right here, right now. I always like to see that when they come out of a break, rather than taking the first 30 seconds to kind of go through the feel-out phase, come right forward and resume right where you left off. You know, I'm impressed with two big guys like this, yeah. having the stamina, look at that. Okay. It's a matador moving to the side. See, if Maven knows he's way ahead, but still he's going to come in and he's trying to finish the fight. And he knows that Hakaba just needs one clean shot that could bring him in trouble, so he has to watch out. Corner of Derek Maiman. 
echoing what Boss Root was saying throughout the fight. They want to see Maimon throwing combinations, not single punches. We're 30 minutes away from live on NBCSN. We got a great oh, fight, and then left again. Maimon connects to the side of Dave Huckabee's face. Dave Huckabee may not win this fight, but I'll tell you, he's a tough man. He is taking some hard shots, and here he is still fighting in round three as Mamian looks for the takedown. Single leg. Let's see if he can get it. Go to full mark now. Yep, that's what he's doing. Now, this is a bad situation now for Huckaba, who's clearly out of gas and just trying to hold on for a judge's decision or landing the big right hook or something of that nature, but it's not going to happen from this position. Very hard to knock somebody out. Although I saw it happen one time. One guy got mounted, and while he was in mount, he got knocked out of where he left hey, it. That so it is possible. <laughs> Just to let him know that I'm not out of the fight. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Neyman working hard here. And again, very impressive, especially with all that weight. Look I'll at tell this. you what, I mean, he's active. This is one of the things with Steve Mazzagatti, our referee, looking over, saying, guys, keep up the pace, stay active. And uh, Maiman doesn't have to be prompted for that. Look at this. Yeah, see, but that's, again, I, I talked about it also in the last fight. This is what I like when a wrestler really keeps pushing, uses his wrestling to dominate on top, and then, on top of that, throwing a lot of strikes, and from that moment on, you go, all right, for a submission, or for, and again, he's looking for the side choke that looks the whole time, I or, or for think, a knockout. I honestly think more people would be fans of the heavyweights if this is the kind of action you were given on a regular basis. Yeah, that's true. Rather than the slower, methodical, I mean, this is some scrap in here. No, this has uh, been a really good fight. Trying to go to a mound, I guess. Or maybe someone we're going to have to figure out. Final 90 seconds of this one. Dave Hakaba, as we said, just holding on, hoping that Maimon makes some kind of mistake. Hakaba, not really known as a submission artist, so he's got to try to find some way to load up that right hand and punch it. But Maimon clearly aware of what Hakaba can do, and this is where he's got him in a situation he's not going to be comfortable. He's just shutting him down. Shutting his opponent down all the way down. MMA all about imposing your will on your opponent, and that is what Derek Maiman has been able to do here in round three with Dave Huckaba just gassed right now. He's taking some punishment for the first two rounds, and this is just not the best place for Dave Huckaba. This is not his strength right now. I would love to see Maiman going in even for a mount position here. Still looking for the side choke, see? There we go, there we go, he's got it, he's yeah. got it locked in. His corner's calling for the submission. They want him to end this thing and not go to the judges as we approach 30 seconds to go in the fight. See, he's pulling the left leg out now, and he's going to have to move to the side. He needs to pull that leg out. It's important, but Huckaba knows that, that's why he's keeping it. Can he get it in tighter if Maiman steps across Huckaba? Now, Maiman jumps to the side, yes. and then he can finish it. He has to jump to the left. Oh. Gives up on the submission and goes to the punches the final 10 seconds. So he will not get a submission, and the fight will go to the judges after three rounds of brutal fighting here in the heavyweight division. Steve Carl there in the corner of Derek Maiman. And I'll tell you what, Derek Maiman opened up a lot of people's eyes tonight. The big man can move quickly. He's got some serious weight in those gloves, and his ground game is rock solid. He's good everywhere. Looking for submissions. Ground and pound is strong on his feet. He's strong. He's got great kicks. He's got the whole package. Dave Huckabee still able to smile, give a wink to the camera. Just not his night tonight as Maiman just brought too many 
different avenues that he had to defend, and he never got that chance to really load up and launch that big right that can set so many fighters to the canvas. You know, and on top of it, he's got great stamina, and yeah. that for a big guy, we all love to see that, because normally, you know, the first round is good, the second, uh, then it starts to slow down. Not with these guys. I look at Derek Maiman, and the only phrase that comes to mind is, strong like bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we said it inside the cage, Chad Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge one scores at 30 to 26. Judge two scores at 30 to 25. And judge three scores at 30 to 27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Derek Caveman Mayman. What up, Sammy's? Woody Show Club, Sammy's, Mickey K.O. Dynasty, my love. My daughter Carter, love you. Yeah. Ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.